To create our interface, we'll use Storyboard. So we'll click on main.storyboard within Xcode. I need the rightmost uh, drawer here. And down at the bottom, I'm going to type in switch. Now, just in case your drawer doesn't look like this, you want the fourth icon here. And that's the attributes inspector. So down here, I'll type switch and I'll drag out a switch onto this canvas. Now I'm gonna drag it towards the bottom until I see the blue lines appear, and then I want the vertical blue line. Now down here at the bottom right, the second icon will allow me to pin this to the canvas. And so what I'll do is I'll pin this to the sides, and I'll add the constraints. And what this will do is hopefully keep this pinned to the bottom of the screen regardless of the screen size. Let's go ahead and test this now. So it's there, it actually needs some more constraints. Um, let's try one more constraint. And let's see here, let's actually try this one here. And try reset to suggested constraints. Ah, there we go, that's better. Uh, press the play button and we see it's in the center and that's okay, we haven't loaded our patch yet so we'll just click on that. And within the simulator, you can actually rotate the device. So hardware, rotate left. And when we rotate it, you see it's still in the center. I'll rotate it right again. Okay, so I'll stop the simulator. And let's inspect this particular UI element. We want the initial state to be off. So under switch state, we'll choose off. And now what we need to do is actually connect this UI element to our code. And the way that we do that is with the assistant here, which is the second icon. If you're using an older version of Xcode, this used to look like a tuxedo. I guess it was sort of a, a butler helping you. Um, at least in Xcode 6, it's just these two circles, this sort of Venn diagram. So I'll click that, and then I will close the drawer at the right and left because I'm running out of screen real estate. What's important here is if you look at this area, which is called the jump bar on the right hand side, this needs to be view controller.m. Now on the left side, I'm going to hold down control and click and drag from the storyboard into view controller.m. And I'm going to do it in this area that is at line 11, which is the local interface and I'll let go. Now I'll give it a name, on, off. And I'll leave everything else alone and choose connect. So what I just did was I created a reference to this particular switch called on, off. And that will allow me to access the switch programmatically. Okay, and let me close the drawer. Now the next thing I'll do is then control, uh, at least hold control down, click and drag from the switch into the implementation, let go. And now I'm creating an action. That is every time I interact with the switch, I'll call this particular method on switch change and choose connect. Okay, let's test it out within this new method. I'll create a new line, tab over, ns log, open and close parentheses, create a string and just type hello. Save that and let's go ahead and run the simulator. Okay, we'll ignore that error. And let me move the simulator over. As I click the switch, we see that our function fires. You can see it over here. So that's good. Eventually, that's going to be where we send messages back to PD. And in the next movie, we'll take a look at how to do just that.